Let's continue now with this Halloween scene for the Blender Challenge. And I'm gonna make this quick one. I've brought in the old tombstone from before and I may still modify this. I just wanted to have that in there and decide what I wanna do for sure. But what I wanna do now is I wanna work on the lantern. And I'm going to uh, select here and bring my 3D cursor there. And uh, we are going to change this up now. It's time to get rid of that guy and it's time to do a new design. So I'm going to bring in a plane and we'll get the exact size that we want in a bit. So let's take that and I'm going to extrude upwards a little bit and then I'm going to extrude up again and I'm going to scale in. This will be very simple and then I'm going to extrude up one more time. We'll try that see if we like that size okay so we have that and now what I'm going to do is I want to copy a bit of this so I'm going to select that and control plus and control plus shift D to duplicate and pull it down and I'm going to uh, we're going to put a face there and then pull it down so this is the base like that might make it a little smaller okay so that's the basic sort of shape for that part now this actually is going to have to I need to make it a bit, a bit bigger it's going to come up here so let's just focus on that stuff there and let's do some beveling on this I'm shift alt and click these edges so do those ones and actually this one here I want to scale out all right and down a little bit that's better all right back to the beveling grab these edges shift alt and click that edge this one this one and this one and I'm gonna bevel it but I'm gonna do it with three so there's two and I'm gonna roll my mouse up so I can get it nice and tight and we can really see those edges Okay, shift alt and click those edges as well. We could go ahead and just bevel those with three, like that. And then these ones, this one, and the top one. Just zoom in and make sure that they don't cross over as we as we bevel this. Something like that. So that's going to be all right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a cube right right there I think that's going to be okay bring a cube and we're going to take this part and down and I'm going to take that I'm going to scale shift Z just get it something like that okay so now shift H to focus just on that go into edit mode three for face selection and grab those faces and we're going to delete them so let's just look at this Let's uh, shift, I don't have to shift alt and click really. I'm just going to hold uh, shift and uh, select those and control B. I'm gonna bevel those a little bit bigger. And then I wanna drop some edge loops in here. Control B, roll back to two. And I wanna split it like that. So I have a piece here and a piece there. I'm gonna make some holes in this. So drop an edge loop there, there, right in the middle, there, and there. And then I think I'll do one more in the middle. And then with that one selected, I'm gonna I'm gonna shift alt and click all of these. There, just like that. And I don't need to select that top, the, that one. So it's like a cross kind of. Control B and pull. I just want two. I'm just creating regions now. And uh, this part is going to stay. And I'm gonna press three for face selection and hold shift and select all these squares here. These are all going to be deleted. So let's grab those. And X faces. So it's gonna look like that. Now the only thing I should have done probably is I should have actually angled this. We'll see if that matters. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press E, Alt S, and I'm going to push so that it comes out. I don't want it to come in because there's more chance that the vertices will cross over. See the way they cross? I'm just going to push it outwards, I think. And that's just give it a little bit of thickness. And I'm going to add a bevel to this. 
and shade smooth and I may go up to two just to tighten it up a bit and then add uh, weighted normal and normals auto smooth to this and we'll do alt H to bring that other part back so we have that so that's a, a uh, I might scale it down just a little bit so it fits in there so that's very straight sometimes I might want to angle it uh, if I did uh, I would bring in a cube again and you know get the size that I want let's say that actually maybe a little bit smaller and then take the top pull it up here and maybe uh, let's go to wireframe and scale it out so that it, it does that that's an interesting shape as well so um, let me go ahead and uh, work on that and do the same kind of a thing so just repeating the process deleting those faces selecting these edges control B but with three splitting it with two up and down and then uh, I'll put another horizontal one and that one that one just letting it drop right in the middle that one and then selecting all of this okay and then splitting it like that and then selecting these faces to be deleted and I might like that shape a little bit better a little bit more stylized Okay, delete those faces, take the whole thing, E and Alt S and push. And you can also uh, merge by distance and Alt N, be copied outside just to make sure it's not flipped. Shade smooth, uh, add a bevel, maybe two, and then the same thing, the weighted normal and normal auto smooth. So we'll, we'll have a look at that one and see how that looks. I think I kind of like that better so let's see which one is that that's the straight one I'm going to get rid of that and keep that one and then you could put a candle in there but I think I'm going to do uh, and just uh, an emission on there I'm not certain yet so I'm going to bring in another cube and that's going to fit down in there just get it roughly the same width and then take that and we can scale it out and we're actually going to pull it up and just check and you can just sort of do that kind of thing and that's that's basically the lantern right there uh this let's see we got anything on this we don't have anything on that and that has a mirror so i'm going to join that and this thing has a bevel on it i'm going to apply the bevel so that i can join you don't have to join everything at this point and but i'm going to uh i'm going to join it just to make it a little simpler uh once again merge by distance make sure everything's facing right outside so i should get that on the other side and and i'm not saying that that's the exact size i'm going to use i might make it smaller or bigger but I just think that's a, a little bit more stylized and it looks a little bit better in the scene. Okay, the next thing I want to do is create a pumpkin. And, uh, you know, this is a, a um, Halloween challenge after all. This is going to be just a stylized pumpkin the way that I like to do it. So I'm going to bring in a UV sphere and change this to 10 and leave everything else the way it is. And scale it up. And I'm going to press the uh, slash key just to focus on that. And I hope I don't have too many. Um, I think I may want to redo that and go 10 and 10. Let's, let's see that. Yeah, I, I think that's going to give me more of a, of a result that I want. I'm going to select this uh, this vertex and control plus to expand X vertices that's a bit big so maybe I'll just do that one and I'll take this E and S and I'll pull it in and then E and extrude down scale it in F to make a face 
And then because this is very horizontal, select that edge and press GG for edge slide and just slide it down and do something like that. And um, the bottom, I'm, I'm not going to see the bottom, but basically I would do the same thing. E and S and extrude it up and scale it and F. Take this and GG. Now at this point, I'm going to go control one. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now you can tweak this. I'm just going to scale it in the Z and make it sort of that shape. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, let's see if we apply it. Yeah, I'm going to apply it. So now I'm going to shift alt and click this edge and see if I shift alt and click every second. Does that make sense? Skip one and do the next one. Not bad. Let's see if I have the right number of vertices or edges like that. Uh, okay, we could try that. All right, so now that those are selected, I'm going to control B and pull and give it a space, not too big, not too small. I don't know, just experiment. Roll your mouse up so you have a central one. Shift Alt and click that central one. Like this. Shift Alt and click. And just go around and get all those guys. And then now that you've done that, press S and pull in and don't go too far. You can then come back out and look at it. And then, you know, you can go back and, and, and change it. But I think that's going to be okay for a stylized pumpkin. So I'm now going to come in and I'm going to select this vertex and control plus and control plus one more because I've got some other vertices out there. So I'm going to take all of those and I'm going to extrude up and I'll have this uh, shape. I'm now going to actually, let's do it easier. Let's, let's go to there. And that's SZ0 to flatten that out. And Control Plus. And let's do Alt S and scale it out like this. And then grab this vertex, Control Plus. Come up to there. Now it's not flat anymore. Scale Z0, let's do that. And let's just extrude up again a little bit and maybe um, scale in and just bend it over and rotate, scale it in. And we'll get this kind of thing. Uh, let me go in here and just pull it up a little bit further. And then you can take this, you can rotate it, you can GG to, to slide it a bit if you need to. In fact, I think I'm going to shift alt and click all these vertices and alt s and just make it wider down there. And if you really want to, if this is bothering you, you can always sort of bevel this to make it a little bit smoother. But that's basically what I'm going for. And up here, I um, should be okay. So it's a bit of a weird, and if you want to, you could come in here and select that vertex and come out X vertices. And if you wanted to, you could just do, uh, make create a face and then I'd inset just a little bit if you wanted to have it like that. And I'm not gonna do anything with the bottom. So let's go back and see how this baby is doing. It's just a weird pumpkin. I'm going to push it down into the ground like that and find a position for it. And then I think I will uh, shift D to duplicate, pull out another one and scale it and put it down here. And let's rotate in the Z and turn it around and just have it like that. So we've got the lanterns and we got some pumpkins there. All right, I'm going to take a screenshot and edit it a little bit so we get the mood of this thing and we'll see how it's coming along.